Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we'll be looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Good Smile Leonardo actually stature. It's not really an action. Well, it's still a figure, but it's not. There's no articulation and stuff. But uh, I have a quick look at the box right here. There's like the other guys already teased. Well, we already we already seen these guys online. They're not out yet. Leo is the first one. To my knowledge, and he has. Uh, let's see if I can. Some on this. He has a nice little picture of how the display is gonna look because they all come with separate bases and stuff. So I can put them together, and it's gonna look pretty cool. Now here's the thing. I didn't want to review this guy at first, but here's. It, there's an issue. There's something I need to address. All right. So here he is, out of the box, Leo in all of his glory. And uh, he looks pretty cool, actually. But uh, like I said, there's a thing, there's something I need to tell you. But uh, I'm just gonna have you enjoy the figure for a minute, you know. Have a look at all the detail and stuff that's going on here. The overall design is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, here's the deal. When I got this guy, I got the box and I was like, huh, it's kinda small. Because here's the thing, everywhere I looked so far, this guy is listed as being 10.5 inches tall or 26 centimeters. That is a lie. I don't know why that is. Maybe they made like a general uh, height because the other turtles are supposed to come on different, they all come on different bases. So Leo is like the lowest, you know, he has like the, the smallest base. I think Donatello gets one that goes like up to here or like even higher. And depending on that, yes, they can be higher. But this one, this one is definitely not 10.5 inches tall or 26 centimeters. He is actually, let's look at that. Uh, 17 or like maybe 18 if you have like the, the stuff where I put the sword in. That's like 18. but. Up to the head, it's like 17. With the base, without the base, Leo himself is only like 13 centimeters or something. And uh, let's see what um, 18 centimeters, 18 centimeters, that's like 7 inches. That's basically what it is, about 7 inches. So, yeah, that was kind of like, you know, you're expecting something like this, you know, like high up there, and then you're getting, you know, this. But with that being said, that was my little complaint. That was my, let's say, a shock, surprise. I was like, okay, this is not how I imagined this. That being said, this figure is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm still kind of on the fence about the overall value of this, but. Let me just let me just uh, let me just give you another look at the figure and uh, have a look at the detail in here. I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit more. So there's all the stuff. If the camera would focus right now, but you can see the texturing in his skin and uh, everything that's going on right there. It's pretty amazing. I mean, there is, like I said, tons of texturing everywhere going on the bandages look like real like medical bandages there's all kinds of stuff in there like uh, shading shading is everywhere like the muscles and everything on his body looks just mind-blowing it looks I mean the detail on this guy is stunning I can't put it any other way same goes for the swords there's like little damage battle damage stuff going on there Looks very cool. I like it. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, the funny thing about this, when I bought these guys, I mean, I have the other free pre ordered Obviously. <laughs> I didn't know I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan, but there you go. But, uh, when I pre ordered these guys, I was like, where am I gonna put them? <laughs> I have to move, I have to make space for them, like, fucking, I don't even know. But, uh, you know, with this size, it's gonna be a lot easier. 
I won't lie. But again, it was just kind of a shock, like at first, like, oh my god, why is why is it so small? Okay, so looks amazing. You've seen all the shading and all the the coloring, the, the texturing going on. I have two more minor complaints. Minor complaint number one. This is kind of easy to break plastic, which I don't understand. Why not make this soft plastic? Especially since this uh, bandana thing is going around a lot here. And I wish that wasn't like that, but uh, I can't really change that. But I wish that, you know, I just wish this was soft plastic. Uh, minor complaint number two. These things don't hold a sword, actually. There is nothing, there's no holes in there to put anything in there. It's just uh, just made to look good, but uh, you can put his swords in there. Uh, not really a complaint, but his swords are really fucking long. I mean, seriously. But, uh, yeah, he takes a little bit of uh, putting together out of the box. He's like... But he sits... That's another thing I really like. He sits extremely tight on his base. Everything... I mean, you have to put him on the base. Let's see if I can get him down even. Ah, 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 okay, so that's... You hear that. You saw that. That is in there. Like, it's not gonna fall off. So, put him in the base. That's the first thing. You have to put together. And then, of course, you can take out the swords. Which uh, is also not done very nicely. <clears throat> Again, it's like a pretty hard plastic all around. So you can't really move the fingers around, but it's like molded perfectly, so you can slide the swords just in without having to force it too much. If I could just do that right now. Well, eh. Well, good. Way to, <sighs> way to make a point. There you go. Works a lot easier on the other one. But it's still firmly in there. Uh, but yeah. This also, you put this also on there, but it's, again, fairly tight, nicely done. I really like that. I really hate it when it's like, oh, assemble this stuff, and then you put it on, and like every time you, you just move on it, you just try to clean it, and it falls off. That's done very nicely, details very nicely. Uh, again, it's hard plastic all around, which I like, except for this part. I wish that was softer plastic, but what are you going to do? All right, obvious edit right here because my camera died, but I just want to wrap things up anyway. The final thoughts on this guy, he looks amazing, which is a good point, although he is a lot smaller than advertised, which in the end isn't really that much of a bad thing to me, it depends on your preferences. He is kind of pricey though, he comes in at like uh, about $130, which is, you know, for the size and everything, it's kind of expensive, and I say kinda. Because then I look at all the detail and the shading and all the good stuff that's going on with this figure. You know, it's hard to argue. I don't know. That really depends on your on your uh, on your status as a collector and a fan. I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan, and uh, I like this darker design a lot. Because I mean, this is this is cool. I wish they would make. Uh, I wish the movie turtles would look like that. I wish they'd make uh, a turtle movie with this style. You know, it just looks amazing. I don't have any regrets about it. Although, if you're not like a big Ninja Turtles fan, and obviously, if this design isn't appealing to you, then no, absolutely don't get this, because this, what what would you get out of it? But if you're a Turtles fan, if you like highly detailed statues at this size, that's what you, if that's what you're looking for, then this is absolutely, absolutely something for you to get. Other than that, yeah, I mean, again, I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied with the figure. I can't wait for the other ones, which will come out soon, I think. This was a figure review. Of the Good Smile Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. I like the, the review. If you want to see more turtle stuff, because I have a bunch, I kind of thought about making like classic reviews because I have a bunch of figures. I really have a lot. But um, if you want to see more, feel free to comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I really appreciate it. But uh, that's it for now. I'll be back for more soon. And uh, stay tuned. The real pain 
signing off. See ya.